Good morning. As we begin our devotion this morning time, let me ask you a very important question. If God had to come and appear before you and say, "Wish one thing." What would you wish for? Don't believe it? 1 Kings chapter 3 talks about Solomon that God appeared to Solomon, a new king, and said, "Wish for whatever you want and I will grant that to you." Solomon did not ask for power, kingdom, wealth, but he asked for wisdom, and God gave him generously. The Bible says that God gave him so much of wisdom that his wisdom was like the sand of the seashore. Now that's a lot of wisdom. In his lifetime, Solomon studied and spoke about many things, right from botany, zoology, musicology to economy to love songs. He wrote 3000 proverbs, 1005 songs, and he wrote three books in the Bible. An intelligent man, the wisest man ever lived on the face of this earth. His story would be a blockbuster movie today. Solomon attempted many things to satisfy his life. Houses, gardens, vineyards, flocks, slaves, sex, etc. He reached the highest point of his success, but yet felt empty in his heart. He could not figure out why he was not being satisfied. The Bible says that his wives turned his heart to other gods. He was not loyal to his god. He forgot the first principle the fear of the lord is the beginning of all wisdom bored and burnt out at the end of his life he summed up his entire achievement his wealth everything in just one word vanity vanity everything is vanity that means meaningless meaningless everything is meaningless He said that word at least forty times in the twelve chapters of Ecclesiastes. For a smart guy like him, he did pretty dumb things, and that's why I call him the wisest fool, because he left God. Solomon eventually got back his focus, but it took him a lifetime and an entire book to figure that out. And here is the conclusion: the two things. that you and i can learn from solomon's life and which everybody is chasing after number 1 is that god shaped vacuum in our hearts and only god can fill it he tried women in fact 1000 wine wealth the richest king he hoarded many things a lot of work he did but in the end he says it's all vanity is all waste chasing after the wind and i just want to include one more tableau and that is worship until you learn to worship your creator your life can never find meaning jesus said to love the lord your god with all your heart your mind and your soul and with all your strength that is the first and the greatest commandment and the second one jesus said is to love the neighbor and that's the second point the life shape vacuum inside us that is your mission to love people as and serve them how about you this morning chan have you figured out what you really want in your life if not ask jesus to come into your heart because only jesus can give you that meaning and that purpose for your life my prayer is that you will find both and you will find it only in one person that is jesus amen